What's up, my peoples? It is your boy, AMG here. And today we are talking about episode 876 of One Piece, titled The Man of Humanity and Justice, Jinbei, A Desperate Massive Ocean Current. Now, sorry for in advance because I'm actually kind of sick, which I don't know how I got that way. But anyway, I got to go on rent because Toei was doing so good this whole episode. And at the end, kind of annoyed me. I'm not even, like, a super fan. He's not even my favorite straw hat. But, uh, where's Zoro? They talked about the worst generation. And they didn't have Zoro at all. Where's Zoro? They didn't put him in the worst generation. He was in the manga. Like, um, uh, <laughs> ooh, that backlash is about to be real. That backlash is about to be real. Like, like, like where, where, where is this man? Where is this man? Why is he Why is he not in here, Toei? What's wrong? So. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad. Anyway, <laughs> are they writing him out of the anime as a World Generation member? Because you might be in trouble. Oh. Anyway, let's. let's let me get on to the real review. Now, this episode was beautiful, man. Ugh. Oh. Just the feels. The feels were amazing. I gotta say, the fishman is clutch. <laughs> like, I want a manga or just an anime just dedicated to the fishman pirates, to the sun pirates. I really want that. Because this episode, just how they were, how they acted, how they treated him, Jinbei, how they were talking to Strauss, I just want them to be just their own, you know, show. Because... God, I, I just love the characters and how they look and everything. Man, I there should be so much story in that. I Oda, I need you to do this, bro. I really need you to do this, dude. Please, please, Goda. Please, Goda. Then, can we talk about how Big Mom just laying down there, just knocked out and just in bliss? And parents were, this is the happiest I've seen her. So you've never just seen your mom just all together happy? That's kind of sad. You're the oldest child. Like, you're like 50, 60, bro. Like, you have never seen your mom just that happy? That's, uh, that's, that's horrible. Then, them going back and we see how Wadasume switched the ships. Because we always, we all wondered how the switch, the ships got switched. Because it didn't make sense because it just popped up. We just seen Something it destroyed, and it was a silhouette and fire, and you can't really tell. And then it ended up being the fishman ship. So Wadasume grabbed the ship, switched him from underneath the water as soon as the explosion happened. And it made it look like it was their ship. So they literally gave up their ship for Jinbei. Like, I'm like, wow. And initially, that is Jinbei's ship after, you know, Fisher Tiger left. But they, they gave up their ship, a legendary ship. Then, for the Straw Hats. Then, man, I just, just all of them getting ready to go in. And them talking stuff and just going after everybody. And Watasume just standing there blocking all the hits. Saying, I'm sorry. I I was a bad boy when I was in, you know, Waters. When I was in Fishman Island. You know what makes, I, do, how, do they ever express how old Watasume is? Because he really seems like a little kid. No, he really does seem like a little kid, like maybe like 10, because that's what his person that's how his personality comes across. If it's, I mean, do you guys think that? Because that's what it seems like to me. But um, just him blocking all the hits and then him catching on fire. Oh, man, him starting to burn and he's still talking that, you know, contributes to his toughness, bro. And I was <laughs> I was just like. That one, when he was under the water and he was carrying the ship, and you seen, like, the heat bullet from oven go through the water and, like, go through something. I was like, did they just kill off Watasume? Like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's just heat, but uh, didn't that burn his organs? Like, mm, that's not good, bro. I was just like, oh, that does not look good at all. That, whew, that did not seem good. And then... Then moving on to the fishman, you know, just bad one and Aladdin and oven, bro. Let me tell you, 
Yo, Aladdin is a G, bro. Aladdin is a G. Just how he hopped up in there, hopped up out that water swimming, and then punched at him. Just, and then that, like, it was like a, 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 a like a scene out of DBZ, bro. When Oven and Aladdin collided in the air. Man. Bro. The anime is making Whole Cake Island look so much better. Because I'm... I, I gotta be honest. I... I, I, I kind of hated Whole Cake in the manga. Because reading all that... It was like... I... Like... I didn't really like Dress Rosa either. It was okay. It had good parts. But... The Hell Cake was a whole nother tier of... It was it was just bad. It was just bad. It was just bad. Man, it was just bad. And this episodes are making it look fantastic, man. For the animation in this episode alone. Whoa. Okay. This makes me so excited for what Wano and the Reverie are going to look like. Because this is amazing, man. And then... Then uh, Jinbei's on the ship and is telling Luffy and the crew, like, yo, if you patch up your ship, if you patch up the sails, you'll be able to ride the current fast. Like, he knew something was going to come. And Luffy's like, yo, Jinbei, what are you trying to say? And Jinbei's just like, I can't leave them here. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. And Luffy's like, I'm still your captain. You know that, right, Jinbei? And Jinbei, man, if Luffy never looked like a leader or a captain in this episode, that all came out. I'm so serious. His face, his demeanor in this episode, you cannot tell me Luffy does not have captain leader qualities. Because this in this episode, this boy, you could feel the aura coming off of him when he was talking to Jinbei, bro. Like, oh my God, I was just like, the back and he was just like, and Luffy's just like, you better come back alive. You better meet me up, meet up with me in Wano. You have to survive, Jimbei. The feels, man, I, oh my God. I don't know how I'm going to feel if we find out that Jimbei ends up dying or something. Because we still don't know that, and I read the manga. I, man, I read... Dude, this episode was amazing. And then we got to see the sea slug. And I did not expect for it to look that goofy. And how Big Mom's talking, she back to normal. I was like, finally. But, uh, and then the end of the episode. Morgans, you messing up, bro. You met, That's all I got. I already did the rant at the beginning. Morgans, you messing up. I was going to give this episode a 10 out of 10. And then Morgan's had to mess it up. And Toei, you, you, you left out Zoro. You, you left, you, you left out Zoro, bro. You, Toei, no, no. I know older than that for that. Toei, you messing up. Fix it. Anyway, this is the end of the, this is the end of the review. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content. My name is... AMG and anime, manga, game is all that. And I'm out. Peace out, people.